Elson and K Plus in the building. I think we need to buy the equipment, bro. Yeah, we need to. Wait, what, what is this equipment? Uh, for the horn. Ah. We're, we're always using my mouth. I'm using my, I need to invoice the company. Though. We we're are always, always using, your using my. We are using your mouth. Okay, he started. Yeah, Elson. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you very much, uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you. I, I'm I'm so honored to have you guys uh, on the show. You are the biggest thing in media right now. Before yeah. we get into the product, yeah, the podcast. The person I really want to know is Elson. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dude that's making everybody uncomfortable <laughs> on the podcast. Who are you, bro? I'm Nelson. I don't know why. You can see how small I am. I think it's the Napoleon syndrome. <laughs> What's and, up? What's and, your and background? I think that would be a good time to mention his insecurities before we even proceed. Oh, okay. Do I have any? S- yeah. S- SMS? I don't know why you're insecure about your height, though. You've mentioned this a couple I need, of times. I need me implants, man. <laughs> I, don't know if they, I don't know if they do, though. That's they do? They do? Uh, yeah, they yeah. do. Me, Tom Cruise, Kevin Hart. But why his, do you his want to the check? Why do you want to be tall? Yeah, I mean, what, what? I have no idea. It's just been. It's always bothered me. I, I, I have no idea. Do, do you need therapy? I, I, do, I do go for therapy, actually. <laughs> for, therapy. for your height? No, for something. Else. Okay. okay. Oh, for something. For something different. What's your background in media? Do you have I any media have background? Any. So, yeah, you and I were talking before the, the mics came on. I have got. I've got no background in in media and all this is new to me i and worse that this podcast is on video uh-huh. i feel like i've got a face for radio but now it, <laughs> it's it's it, it makes it worse that you walk into a supermarket and mm-hmm. and people recognize you and mm-hmm. the fact that i use my name yeah right i'm not as cool as this dude that says k plus so you know you, you get people that walk up to you and they say oh hi elson and the first thing that i think of is you know that awkward moment when someone comes and greets you by name, and you think you know, and you think you're supposed to know yeah. them, right? So I have, have this business business together. Right, Did we drink right. together. Did have we, we had sex? Yeah, yeah things like that. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, so you look do at you them. forget the people you have sex it's, it's, with? It's happened a couple of times. Okay, it's never happened to you before. I I I don't sleep with that many people for me to forget. Yeah. No, it's not that many, but I just see a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> This is why everyone is uncomfortable <laughs> on the podcast. No, I yeah. So, you know, I, so my background is is IT, uh-huh. uh, software development, and obviously, as you code, you would listen to a lot of music, and from music, I transitioned to podcasts. Uh-huh. And I've always had a lack. I've always had a passion for podcasts, and a lot of the time that I would listen to radio, especially. And I'm so sorry that I'm on radio and I'm saying this. You'd listen to interviews and you'd hear them ask these really crazy, mundane, boring questions. And in the back of your mind, you're screaming. You're like, I don't care about the questions yes. you're asking. I don't want to know when Slep D <clears throat> knew he could sing. Uh-huh. I don't care. About what that. inspired him to or become when he a sees rapper? himself in or the next when, five years. Right? Yeah. Like, you know? I don't care about that. So the, the type of questions that I would have wanted to know are the type of questions they ask now. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I think... That is needed. I think our uh, the Zambian media space needed somebody who would be so daring to ask those questions. Yeah. I don't know why we yeah. s- we were scared, <clears throat> but it's working. I, can, can I can I answer that though? Yeah, uh, and just explain the Zambian mindset. Zambian people are us Zambians, and I'm I'm speaking yes as a Zambian, <laughs> and we are very conservative people. We're cowards. And we love being in comfortable spaces Mm -hmm. Such that I think even the first time we had an experience Where I think the first episode We had Elson on was uh, The Kazadi one Anything that felt Out of our comfort zone You could see the comments like you know Tweak at that particular moment Like okay you know people are not comfortable with this even I like the first time we had that experience with Elson I was like crap how are people going to take this Won't they cancel us Mm -hmm. Two episodes down the line you're like okay you know what? I think people are starting to buy into this new idea of we need to start opening up a little bit more. Yeah. Like even the guests now know when they come to the podcast that they need to expect that they should open yes. up a little bit more. Yeah. You know what I mean? You were saying? Yeah. And uh, more to the point that Kalinga was was talking about, I forgot the first first time that I had a backlash. Actually, I do <coughs> remember. No, uh, had, Iris. No, it wasn't Iris. It wasn't. Well, for me, yeah. it was the slap D where I say Twitter has got a cesspool of idiots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And ironically, it's the people on Twitter that then came for me. They, so, the idiots. The idiots, right? So, 
this back and forth happened over a couple of days and we had a sponsor, a major sponsor, one of the MNOs. They called Kalenga. And then they said, so that dude needs to apologize. Um, yeah. Or we're going to pull our sponsorship. So Kalenga called me and he said, so <clears throat> the sponsor called and they're asking you to apologize. Sorry about that. And it's not the idiot's calling, right? No, no, <laughs> okay. no, it, it's Siri. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they asked me to apologize and I said no. I uh, because the minute that you said presidents, then they win. Yes. And I was set in my conviction of what I said. I didn't think what I said was wrong. So they ended up pulling their sponsorship, but later on they came back. So yeah, I just feel like we, you cannot have an opinion, really. Yeah. You, um, what two things that I know for certain is you cannot you cannot have a day job and an opinion at the same time, and. I am lucky and I'm blessed that our podcast is on a platform where we, we can't cannot, get fired. We can't get fired. It's like the world <laughs> world west. No, yeah. Yeah. there you go. We become a guns blazing. And, and, yeah. and I own it. I own my business, so yeah. nobody can fire me from my job and nobody can fire me from the podcast. So it's one of those. Yeah. Uh, on the other side, I want us to come talk about, especially Kalenga, because yeah. you are a radio station owner. Yeah. I want to talk about the. Integrating Multi radio station, not just one. Okay, uh, you're about to spill all that beans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, launching the other one in a month. So time, I want to, yeah. I want us to talk about how we can is is traditional radio and new media. I want us to come back and talk about that. Ah. So, <clears throat> Kalenga, we we we're talking about yes, new sir. media, right? So as yeah. as a radio station owner, right? Yeah, I believe most podcasts started because traditional media wouldn't take certain content. Um, and then now you have a podcast and you're a radio <laughs> owner. Isn't this good content for your radio station? Um, let me. I think let me start with where my radio station is mm-hmm. and how irrelevant what I do would be if I took it to where the station is. Um, I own a radio station which was the first ever in Nakonde, which is like Zambia's one of Zambia's busiest <laughs> in the town. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So. It was the first in Zambia's business border town. But let's look at, you know, the um, type of a town or a district that Nakonde is. To say the least, I can't think of a better term, but I think, let me just say what, what it is. It's a village, okay? And what we would bring to a metropolitan, you know, place like Lusaka, and what we would take to a place like Nakonde, totally different things. So, like what we do on the podcast, I don't think would be relevant to anyone in Nakonde, and I wouldn't want to put it on radio there, but maybe some episodes. So, my question yeah. is for traditional radio, isn't, Why this, haven't people good, on traditional radio? isn't this good content for traditional um, radio? Traditional radio wouldn't quite allow what we do, especially when we brought Elson on. I think traditional radio then would have just, you know, shunned what we do on the podcast, especially when it comes to things like language. Let's start from there. Traditional radio, the F word on traditional radio, I mean, they're grabbing your license the following. In fact, not even the following day, the same day, somebody from the regulatory uh, uh, body, body is going to call you. You know what I mean? That's so, a, that same guy uses F words in his regular conversation. Yeah. But he doesn't want to hear you know, it. I mean, and you have to accept on radio, you don't know who's listening when they're driving. There's mm-hmm. fathers with their daughters in the cars. But with the podcast, that's why I put the 18 symbol in the corner there to show you what kind of a content this is. And if your kid is found watching that, why wouldn't you there as a parent to stop that? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. It's not our duty yeah. to watch your kid. You watch your kid. But on radio, I mean, it's open to everyone. So to take the content there would be a little misplaced. One of yeah. the biggest radio shows in the world is The Breakfast Club. And they do curse. And it's a morning show. <laughs> and they curse. Um, I think we also need to look at the kind of country it is. Like we said earlier, ah, I hate it. I hate it that we always go back to in we Zambia. Have to. In Zambia. First of all, is this uh, hypocritical, pretentious Christian nation tag that we carry? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, if it's not enshrined in the constitution, then how are we a Christian nation? You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm not a Christian, but all I'm saying is. I think it's a little hypocritical to call this nation a Christian nation if it's not embedded deeply in the constitution. I'll give an example of uh, countries in the Middle East, right? When they say it's an Islamic, the Islamic Republic of Iran. Yes, it is that. The Islamic Republic there's of Iran. No everything loopholes, you're, there's, there's no loopholes. Everything you're doing is coming from the Quran. But it's everything we're doing as a... Oh, quite all right. We'll say our laws and whatever constitution uh, is getting most of its support um, from the, what? The, the commandments and all? Thou shalt not kill. Yeah. <sighs> But still there is Okay, here's my question Yeah Do you listen to Zambian radio? 
I listen to my radio station. <laughs> <laughs> Because there was one episode, I think you were with Gesh. Yeah. And you asked him that question. And he said he doesn't listen to radio. He also only listens to Flavor FM. I'm like, but if radio owners are not listening to radio, why should me, the consumer, <laughs> listen to radio? Isn't it your fault that radio is boring, you owners? Um, I think it's also... Like why I don't listen to other radio stations It's the same thing I used to do when I used to be on radio I would never listen to any other radio show Because the risk that that brings to your show Is you can start sounding like the other guy And I've fallen in that trap before Because when I started radio I, I used to, I'll be honest right now I used to listen a lot to KB, Thrill Station manager here mm -hmm. I would listen to Thrill so much When I go on radio I would catch myself speaking like Thrill mm -hmm. You know what I mean And I figured Ah oh, wait a minute it's actually Yoko. Remember Yoko from GFM? Yes. Mm -hmm. When we sat down and started telling me about radio, you know, the best thing you can do for yourself, be authentic. And the best way you can do that, don't listen to anybody else's radio show. So is that why you don't listen to Zambian radio? Okay, you're being politically correct. Elson will tell me the truth. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Elson will tell me the truth. Why, yeah. is, why isn't traditional radio taking up podcasts? Because this is the content that everyone seems to be listening to. I've, <coughs> excuse me. I feel like radio by nature a lot of you included hopefully a lot of the things that you have to say are not things that you really want to say you have to hold back yeah, yeah. right you have to be politically correct um and a lot of the things i will give you so many episodes where we didn't even curse but the line of questioning the things that we speak about you would get so many people that would be outraged yeah maybe because they're not ready to have those conversations um and for that reason precisely where you are not allowed to have con real conversations that you know mm -hmm. people want to listen to is the reason why i would not listen to radio so i would want to listen to a platform where you are able to have free conversations where none of the topics um uh, are censored um and free speech yeah. essentially is something that I uphold and I hope that any platform that I would listen to would also uphold and yeah. sadly in as much as we would want to say you are able to say whatever you want on radio you cannot and that's that's the main reason why I don't and I think radio and, and a lot of people will soon tune out of radio and um, get to so there's different podcasts right they choose a podcast that best aligns to yeah whatever it is that best suits their taste is there ever a day when new media can integrate with traditional radio media um do you think we me, can fix what we have right now integrating podcasting into radio i think that has been done sorry to cut you yeah. off so you, and it you spoke of you spoke of the breakfast club yeah that's also a podcast yeah Right, so again, it depends on the audience. It depends on the people listening. If they're that open-minded, that they are able to accept whatever is being talked about and how it is being said, you're able to integrate the two. I think you too have shown that Zambia is actually woke because they listen to what you guys say. Yeah, they listen to your conversations. And I was shocked. I don't know why. No, because the, most of the time we think. Our own people will not feed into this thing. They will you judge. Know? No one is trying. Everyone's actually, scared. Actually, when we started, because I think also you came in what episode four, five, four, six, yeah. episode four. I think the first three episodes when we would upload those, you know, you upload and you get one view, you get excited, like, yeah. oh wow, somebody actually got two. Oh, okay, cool. To be honest, we didn't think people are actually even going to be listening or watching. And to answer your question about integration, podcasting into radio, um. I think the major difference, and this is where I think consumption of entertainment is going, the human mind was sort of evolving to want things on demand. We want things yes. when we want it. So to wait for a radio show at 15 hours to listen to Chuma, and I want to listen to Chuma at 6 now. in the morning, yeah. is where a podcast now has the advantage because it's like Netflix. You don't have to wait for, right? Yeah. you know? Uh, a TV to channel watch. to yeah. give you that movie at 19 hours and you want to watch that at 7 in the morning yeah. with Netflix it's there I can watch it it's already uploaded you know what I mean mm -hmm. so that's the advantage I think podcast apart from not having adverts has over radio yeah yeah. what if, What about the content if we put the content 
that podcast are uh, doing onto traditional radio? Um, Would that work? I liked. W- w- we had a chat with uh, one of Zambia's top rappers the other day, and he brought out something that I, I picked out him saying um, the thing with the podcast. Like you can have the same interview with Chuma on radio. We can even script it and have the same interview on a podcast. It will be different. We were. Different. We're gonna have. Because we know it's not radio, there are no regulatory bodies uh-huh. tuned in to you know uh, tell us what to do and what not to do. We will be more free to express ourselves. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think that's the major element that a podcast brings to consumption of entertainment. And the other thing as well, I've I felt man, it's going to get me into a lot of trouble. I felt like <laughs> should, should we censor you? Now? No, no, it's okay. okay. <laughs> I, I'm used to this. <laughs> right. Podcast listeners are more intelligent. Mm-hmm. Um, with a podcast listener, you have got a direct relationship. You know, what it's I mean? intimate. It's intimate. I have read over and over again on Twitter where you get people attack you for whatever it is, and you can tell by their argument that they've never listened to a single episode. And ten minutes into the argument, you'd get someone who's actually listened to the podcast coming in and correcting them. So. That in itself, I feel I would, if I, if I had the option to be on radio where I would have a million listeners mm-hmm. or be on a podcast where I have 10, I feel those 10 are quality listeners <coughs> that I would trade in for those million. Yeah. You, you get what I mean? Because yeah. you know you have that direct relationship. Even if a sponsor comes onto the podcast, we've had a few sponsors and it got to a point where some of the listeners actually thought I owned the stuff that we were talking about because they listened to us so much I went to a food market and one of the sponsors that has been on the podcast um, is, a, is, is a payment channel and they came to complain to me saying hey listen Elson this platform is not here I can't, I can't pay for my food <laughs> using this platform I'm like yeah. I don't own it yeah. right, so that's, that's the impact that I've realized if you, if you have a podcast and the people that do listen to you it's it's a very keen, small, tight knit family, if I can call it that. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. again, I just want to say you guys are doing an amazing job. I'm jealous <laughs> that I cannot do that stuff you do on the podcast. You're welcome, man. We've got space right here. Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah, my my manager is listening. <laughs> <laughs> I did say this. And, you know, funny when, when we came to Rock FM, we we're actually discussing um, one of the major podcasts in South Africa, podcast and with Mac G. Yeah. And we brought up the issue of Sol Penduka, who's like a major, you know, uh, our presenter. Be, yeah. He's, he's presenter. actually back on radio, isn't it? Yeah, he's on yeah, Kaya. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I think you can do what he's done, both podcasting. Although the major issue that South Africans are bringing out and calling him a sellout is because. He's known for being very expressive. He's Elsa. Yeah, kinda. Mm-hmm. He's known for being very expressive. He speaks his mind and he'll call you out. Okay? If you do something wrong or... He'll speak his mind about you. Yeah. But then he's with the radio station now. So people are crying out like, is he going to have that freedom now? Even when it comes to the podcast, to yeah. speak the same. Mm-hmm. Because the way by nature radio station contracts... I mean, you know, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Even when you leave the building, you're still representing the radio station. Everywhere you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So will he be able now to speak out against the wrongs that he's seeing in the industry and society the way he does on the podcast? Or will he be restricted? It's yet to be seen, though. Yeah. So... But then again, I, I, I would feel the fact that they invited him onto Kaya is because of, of the how, chill. There you go. It's because of how raw he is. Yeah. So many jobs that Gareth Clip got. Yeah. Because of, of how, how raw. It's because of how raw but he remember, is. remember, there's been all this debate about... Remember, uh, I think Manji brought this up when he said somebody was actually paid 60,000 rand to talk smack about him oh, to yeah, kill, yeah, yeah. and they're actually paying people to leave because ah, they're sort of taking away numbers from radio yeah. and taking them to the podcast so there's all these conspiracy theories going on and people suspecting the radio station has done that to kill the podcast so here's something to radio owners listening right now <laughs> yeah don't fire the good talent <laughs> yeah they will make money and, and you will be crying <laughs> now you will be forcing you will be paying people trying to kill the talent talk about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so pay pay attention take note guys take note <laughs> don't fire the good talent yeah because they speak their mind uh-huh. in fact you need to keep those yeah that's the money bag right yeah. there yeah so let's get 
the serious stuff out of the way, it's done. Let's have some fun. So on Live and Drive, we have this game. We call it Would You Rather. Wow. <laughs> why, why, why am I scared all of a sudden? Eh? <laughs> so, <laughs> so whoever wants to start, I'm going to throw it to you guys right now. Would you rather people have access to your finances, phone, or browser history? Elson. Finances. You're not scared people to know your money? Nope. L? What? Finances, phone, or browser, browser history. history? Shall go with finances as well. <laughs> what's, what's on your browser history for you? Uh, man, man. <laughs> Elson, what's on your browser history? X. Is it is it Mia Khalifa? <laughs> man, Cherokee D something. <laughs> man, I don't want to go to jail. Half the stuff that I've Googled is illegal. <laughs> what's wrong with your phone? What's on your phone? K plus. I need to check. You know, one of those where you think you're clean, then you there's just that one thing. There's that, that one thing. That just yeah. that one thing. Yeah. So most of the guys on Rock Nation, when I asked that question, yeah. everyone was like, "I'd take my phone. You yeah. know what? Let's Leave my money Elson. alone. What? Can, Leave can my we, money can alone. Can check the last thing you browse? Yeah, sure. I think. Hold on. Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> well, on Google, right? <laughs> on Google, yeah. The last thing was ah, oh, okay. Yeah. That's easy. What is it? James Ndambo Networth. Nah. Ah, where's history? I need to click on. Where's history? Be, by the way, he used to be my neighbor. And, James Ndambo, and he's going yeah. to be a partner in my business. He used to be my neighbor. So, so, so they were here in the soccer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Before he went to SA. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, you're going to be partners in business, huh? no? Yeah. Can no, yeah. My not history. Way okay. Uh, oh crap! I remember the last thing I googled, and I, I'll tell you why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's because of our guest. The uh, next episode coming up. Mm-hmm. I was googling. Oh, right. uh, yeah. yeah. I was googling Kim Kardashian naked pics for a good reason. Ah, for a good reason. Okay. Yeah. I want to hear. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to watch that show. <laughs> All right. Next one. You should watch the episode coming up on Tuesday. Next for one. a good reason. Yeah. This one is specifically for him because how are you feeling without swearing? Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> my head hurts. Also so he's a painkiller right now, man. So a recent study found that the average man or woman does swear. Two million times in their life. Hallelujah! <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> I'm not alone. In fact, another study said, and I made him listen to it. Yeah. That there is a direct correlation between, between people that are messy, that sway, and intelligent people. Ah. Because creativity is messy. Yep. Yeah. Creativity is messy. Yeah. And we want to express ourselves and you, exactly. And swear is about way. expression, yes. right? And in psychology, they actually say people swear a lot. Are actually, the most honest people as well. So right. they will not sugarcoat anything. So when does your swear filter work? On radio. When does it work? Mm. When I'm around my parents and when I'm on radio. And everywhere else. Everywhere else. I, I let it. I let it rip. I actually wait. So you would talk to Mr. Ndumba like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Monday. I just did that today. My man. So he's in the country tomorrow. My man. Uh, we're going to be in um, Choma. Ah. This oh yeah. Week. Mm. Your swear filter? Where does it work? Mm. In my home, because I've got four or five year old and a three year old daughter. <laughs> They'll hurt you. Um. Soon. Pretty much at home at church. Yeah. Do you and know? Radio. Do yeah. you know Nasty C started swearing at nine? That's um, when he started swearing, and he his dad. Was the one who used to swear in the house? Oh, so his mom died when he was very young, right? So when he Explains picked lot, up yeah. swearing, his dad was cool with it. I and wonder when he also picked up painting his nails. Hey, that's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get yeah. into that. Maybe when you have a certain type of money in your bank account, you want to paint um, your nails. I don't know. I think it comes. I don't know what it. Okay, I, I, I've, no, you wouldn't know. As, maybe no, you wouldn't know as well. What it's like growing up without a mom? Maybe I wouldn't know. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. None of us in this room would know, so maybe it's got something to do with that. Because ah. mo- mothers have a lot of control in their home when it comes to raising a nah, child. You know mm. what I mean? Nah, man. Yeah, true story. There's, there's plenty of people who don't have moms who don't paint their nails. Yeah, I was and, talking about the cursing, and they don't swear. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about the cursing. Next one. Yeah, would you do it? Right. Yes. Who is the most important woman in your lives? My mom. Your mom? You? Careful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that like a trip question or what? Just answer. It's coming. Just answer. Be very careful, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you are going to sleep with the dogs tonight. Uh, if you dare say the wrong answer. Two very fluffy dogs, yeah. Don't the be most scared. important woman in my life. Don't right? be scared. It's not it's not that it's bad. Both my mom and my wife. Okay. You've got you've got girls, don't you? You've got yeah. daughters. Yeah. And okay. they're not on the list. They're girls, they're not women. So, yeah. so to save her life, mm. you have to give a man head. <laughs> <laughs> or they get shot in the head. Amen. To save whose life? 
Yo, the, the woman. <laughs> My mom? Yes. You have to. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> you have to go down on a man. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Isn't it 6:30 yet? You have it is. That's the last question. You have to go down on a man. Or she gets a bullet in the head. What do you do? You know what? Yeah, you know what? My mom has lived a very long wow. time. <laughs> You've lived a full life. She was wow. living a very You were there before cell phones. You're here now. I mean... And you've experienced good life. Ali. Listen, mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah, but on the reels, though. Um, would you? Dude, for the person you love, I think you just have to do what it takes. Are you saying you would? I would. Okay. I'll, I'll do whatever it takes, yeah. Elson still and thinking I'm about it. Social media doesn't just quote me and say this guy gives it. <laughs> Elson's thinking about it. Nah, because I have to it's work gay, with yeah, this dude now. Because you know now I still have to work with this guy, and I yeah. know that he's willing to do ish like that. Can, can this go on record <laughs> that I made Elson uncomfortable <laughs> the same way he makes everybody uncomfortable, uncomfortable yeah, yeah, on yeah. the Z podcast? <laughs> nice one, guys. Nice one. Thank you very much for coming. It's yeah. been Thank great. Thank you for the invites. I wish I had more time with you guys. But you know Let's let's do this more Yeah, just, yeah man uh, That would be dope the, the final word though mm-hmm. Especially after I think it's uh, It's been an eye opener For us after the Muzukanji episode There's been a lot of Misunderstanding A lot of uh, Misquoting A lot yeah. of People You know Making conclusions Based off rumors Yeah um, I'll, I'll bring out one I think Elson has got issues as well That have come to his inbox Like in my case People were telling me That I was calling Mizukanji ugly And whatever Wow no, no, no. Mizukanji herself said She used to call yes. me ugly She got an award For the most ugliest That's exactly. what she and said And so kind so, of got picked up On that exactly. point Yeah And I said Would you describe I think I asked yeah. Describe yourself As one of the uh, people Who grew up Looking a certain way Yeah then, And then There are a lot of people Who when they're growing up Look different I've had people like I went to high school with. You meet them today, like, oh wow, you really blossomed. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Look, I, Kaling is a better person than I am. I'm not gonna justify myself. I feel anybody who is going to say blatantly, Seven we were laying, say that, and that's wrong. And so I feel anybody who's going to blatantly say something that was not say they did not watch the episode because if you did, you would have known exactly what we're saying. Exactly. So at the end of the day, people are going to have their opinions. People are going to say whatever they're going to say for whatever reason they're going to say it. Yeah. The people that have watched the podcast know exactly how we interact with the people that we interact with. Exactly. And we ask at the beginning of every episode, is there anything that's off that is limits? Off limits. We asked Mr. Kanji, is there so anything you, off limits? So you're talking about your match. Yeah. Like, that that, is, that is number one. Thing, number yeah. two is the guest has got access to the footage before, before it we airs. publish it. Yeah. We have had three guests that have come back to us and say, hey, Wanda, edit this. Please remove this. And we've removed it because it was going to have so much blowback on yeah. their yeah. career. Yeah, right? reputation. So if you, as the guest, are okay with the interview and the question, who am I or anybody else to be offended on your behalf? Exactly. Especially if I've signed off on it. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anyway, please watch, listen, and one other thing as well before I go, allow me to brag. Since December, yeah. with the exception of one or two weeks, we've been number one on Apple <coughs> Podcast in Africa. That's that podcast. Yep. We Conversations are now having. at, on YouTube, 920,000 hours of watching. Wow. So in about a month or so I know we're going to hit a million uh-huh. We have had close to 7 million impressions And it's incredible I have no idea why The numbers are the way they are But we're not going to question it Thank you very much for the support uh, The merch is coming soon It'll be between 250 and 300 kwacha Yeah So T-shirts, yeah. I think we should get We'll, we'll give Shuma one when, we'll am I, one. when am I a guest? Monday <coughs> I'll bring it personally. When am, on guest, when am I a guest on the, that? This that's coming it. week, actually. I don't know. Either this weekend, this coming week. If you're free, I am very free for that. Yeah. Z we'll, speak, we'll, we'll speak to right our producer. Yeah. Nice one. Nice yeah. one. Again, thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Been thank real. you for the invite. We're, sir. we're always interviewing people on that Z podcast. Today being the interview, we a bit Feels weird. Very but weird. Yeah. But anyway, here we are. You have shown media owners that Zambians are not as dull as they think. (laughs) (laughs) This is smart content and Zambia is enjoying it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for the fresh air (laughs) that you've brought to the industry. Thank you very much.